Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, you will learn an amazing automation technique by which you can level up your messaging game on Telegram. Here, we are going to show you how you can easily integrate Google Sheets with Telegram application in such a way that you can send text with images to Telegram automatically from your Google Sheets. So that way you'll have a backup of your message in Google Sheets and you can easily send messages without any manual switching between these two applications. So it will save a lot of your time and improve your productivity. And the best part is you can set up this whole automation without any coding. So let me show you how it's done. To set up the workflow of this automation, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And you can find the link of this page in the description. From here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month. So guys, sign up right now from the given link. After that, you can sign in to reach the dashboard. From the dashboard, click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So let me give a name here. So guys, I have given this name here. Now let me click on create button and you can see the workflow page started loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find the basic building blocks of this automation. And those are the trigger and the actions. So guys, trigger is that event which starts the workflow and the actions are the automated responses of the trigger. So we can have many automated actions for a particular trigger. In our case, guys, we have a uh, a spreadsheet in Google Sheets application and we are adding the details of messages and the photos uh, that we want to send with the messages here. Okay, so here I have written the message and here I have attached a shareable link of a photo that I want to send on Telegram. So as we are going to fill the details here, the workflow is going to trigger and send this message and the photo on Telegram. That's what we want. So first of all, you need to set up the trigger. So search for Google Sheets here in the choose app field in the trigger section. Then you have to select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. All right, and it will give you this webhook URL. So with the help of this, we are going to create a connection with Google Sheets by following these steps written here. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do, open the spreadsheet in a new incognito window because we are I am using multiple Google accounts in the same browser. So if you are using multiple accounts, it is better to open the spreadsheet in incognito mode to make a proper connection. In this spreadsheet, guys, you need to click on extensions option and from this add ons menu, click on get add ons. And from this Google Workspace Marketplace, you, you need to search for an add on which is called Pabli Connect Webhooks. Okay. So search for it and install this add on here. After installing this, you need to refresh the spreadsheet. That is an important step. And as you're done refreshing the spreadsheet, after that, when you click on extensions, you will find the Pabli Connect Webhooks option available here in the drop down. From here, you need to click on this initial setup button. And this window will appear. Here you will find these two fields, the webhook URL field and the trigger column. Okay. So in this initial setup window, you will find these two uh, fields, the webhook URL field and the trigger column. So in the webhook URL field, you have to paste the URL that you got from your workflow. And in the trigger column, you have to mention the final data column of your spreadsheet. So here in this case, my final data column is the column B. Okay, because uh, here we are entering the data starting from column A and after that I am entering the data in column B. So as I'm going to enter the data here, the workflow should trigger. So column B is the trigger column. Okay, so you just have to put capital B here. Now let me copy the URL that I got here in the workflow. So just click on copy. And here you can see it started showing waiting for the webhook connections response. This means now we can bring some test data from our spreadsheet to here. So first of all, paste the webhook URL here <clears throat> like this. And then you can see we have this send test button uh, right here. So when you click on send test, the data of the first row that you have in your spreadsheet will be sent to your workflow as the test data. Let me show you. I'm clicking on send test. And here you can see test data sent successfully started showing up here. Now you can click on submit button. 
okay and close this window and one last thing that you have to do here is click on extensions and from this Pabli Connect webhooks option check this send on event option as well so when you check send on event whenever you are going to add any new row the workflow is going to trigger okay right now guys let's check in our workflow we got the test data and here you can see we have received the test data like this in these labels and here you can see it is showing the trigger column as b and here it started showing the message that i have written okay our team designed a new logo for us you can see this is the same message i have written hello our team designed a new logo okay right and here you can see the spreadsheet's name spreadsheet id and here the link of the photo in this photos label okay now after getting the uh, message details in the section window connect with telegram bot to send a message on telegram so guys first of all select the action event as send a text message or a reply option okay and click on connect window button and from here select add new connection and here you have to enter the uh, token of telegram application telegram bot okay so to get this token you need to follow these instructions written here so first of all you need to create a bot in telegram so let's first create a bot in our telegram so this is my telegram application guys and here in the search bar you need to search for bot bot father search for bot father and you will find this blue tick bot father icon open it and here guys you need to type a message which is a forward slash new bot okay send this message and then it will uh, reply to you all right a new bot so how are we going to call it please choose a name for a bot so here you have to provide a name to your bot so let me uh, give the name as let's say messages okay messages is the name of the bot now you have to type a username which is a unique name of the bot and it should end with bot like this tetris bot okay so here i am going to type message underscore one underscore bot okay then click enter okay so this username is already taken so just provide the uh, bot name and let's say text underscore one underscore bot bot okay all right so finally i have created a bot you can see the username of my bot is text new underscore bot right and here we got this access token so you just have to copy this access token and here you have to enter in the token field like this and then click on save and you will be connected with telegram okay so we are connected with the bot in telegram and here it started asking for the chat id chat id means the id of that username or group to which you want to send the messages via this bot okay so guys this is i have created a test group uh, named as test group only and when you open your group or any chat in the top search bar after this hashtag you will see this uh, string of integers this is actually the chat id so you just have to copy this and you have to paste it here uh, first put the dash mark and then copy the paste the id okay then it is asking to send the uh, to send a test text message that you want to send so guys i have already saved the text messages in spreadsheet and i have captured the text message here in this text message label so guys i am going to map this label here in this field and to map it you just have to click here and the previous step will appear in the drop down and when you click on it you will find the data here only so just click on this text messages label and it will be mapped okay then here it will ask you to message uh, to enter the thread id if you have a unique thread id you can put it here okay and here if you want to enable or disable notifications you can use this option for any web page you can use this option okay allow sending with that reply here you can use this if you want to protect the content and we have many options you can customize this 
set up for you okay here we have parse modes we have html parse mode or markdown you can use any mode okay we do not have any buttons so i am leaving the buttons fields blank now you can test your connection by clicking on save and send test request button and a test message will be delivered here in this group so here guys uh, let me just click on save and send test request okay so here you can see it is showing an error code 400 this is showing an error because uh, that bot you have created first of all you need to enter your newly created bot in this group as an admin that only that way the bot is going to deliver your messages okay so let me add this bot that i have created in this group as an admin i cannot show you that on your screen but you can easily do it with your smartphone so let me just do that so guys you can see i have added the bot here inside the group now let me click on save and send test request again okay so i have clicked and here you can see guys we have received a new message on our telegram group and the message is this hello team our design team designed a new logo for us please check out and give suggestions and this is the same text message i have had here inside of our spreadsheet and it got delivered but we didn't have got the photo delivered yet now to get the photo delivered along with this message just add another action window by clicking on this plus button and here connect with telegram one more time so just search for telegram bot and use the action event now as send a photo okay then click on connect now guys we have already created a connection with telegram now i'm going to use that saved connection you that existing connection using this existing connection option okay so you just select this then click on save and your connection will be created again using the same access token okay then it is asking for the chat id again you can just map oh sorry copy the same chat id paste it here like this for the caption you if we have already sent the caption no need to put caption here for the message url for sorry the photo url use the trigger step and from here just map the photos label parse mode will be html no need to uh, disable notifications just click on save and send test request button to test the connection and your new message the photo that you have attached will be uh, sent here like this and this bot have taken this message here okay so this is how you can send messages with these photos automatically from your spreadsheet in google sheets application by creating this workflow so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that it is going to work automatically whenever you are going to add the data here in this spreadsheet and i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel